Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. So I recently got the question on how to change the tip on your white cane, your long white cane. And it's actually quite easy. Now, one thing to note is that not all canes can change their tips or have the ability to change tips with. So you wanna make sure, you wanna find out first of all if your cane can do this. A very easy way to do that is to simply gently pull the tip out of the cane. Grab onto the cane and pull the tip straight up, straight up and out, and investigate. See if it uh, is a hook design or some other design that will allow it to come out. If it is, good, awesome, you're in luck. So here is how to change the tip. Here I have three styles of tips. These are all hook style tips. I have the light up LED rolling tip. If you'd like to learn more about this tip, check out the video in the upper right corner. Next, I have just a small marshmallow style tip. And in third, I have a pencil tip. Now, whenever switching out a tip, you're gonna run into two situations regarding the elastic band on the inside, the elastic cord. Either there will be two cords going down the length, resulting in a loop down here at the bottom that the hook style tip is uh, latched onto, or you're gonna have one cord running down the length and it will be tied onto the, the hook tip somehow. Generally, I will use one of two methods for switching out those tips. One is to use a some sort of clamp. This is a shop clamp, super durable. Um, you can find these at hardware stores or big box stores. You could also use a binder for paperwork, like folders. You can find those at office supply stores. Anything that's going to clamp on it and not let that cord slip back into the cane. If it's a loop style, if the cord is comes to a loop at the end. You can also use something to hold it, like a pencil or a pen, anything that you can put that loop over that will not let it go back into the cane. So let's go ahead and switch out these tips. What you wanna do is just pull out, pull the tip out of the base of the cane. And this one here we can see has a loop. It's actually two cords running down ending in a loop but they've also tied a knot at the end so there's a knot with a small probably about two or three inch loop at the base and this is just wrapped around the hook in fact it came right off now if i were to let go of this cord i'm pinching it with my left hand and holding it with my right if I were to let go, this is going to very quickly retract back into the cane and I will lose it and it'll be a bigger hassle to get it back out. So while I get my tip ready, I need to have some way to hold this out of the cane. So I just put the clamp onto the cord there and I'm going to gently release the pressure, let go to make sure that it doesn't slide off the clamp and go back into the cane and we're good the clamp is holding it in place so that is one way now I, i'm hands free i can get the tip situated and put onto there another easy way as i said is to use a pencil if you have a loop like this pencil or a pen or anything long that can slide through that loop and then when you let go it simply stays in place at the end of the cane right there, holding that cord, uh, not letting it go back into the cane. Now, real quick, I would like to take a minute and thank the sponsor of this video, Sunu. Now, you may already know about the Sunu band, but you might not realize that you can also use the app without the band, and the app is 100% free. It's available now. You can go ahead and download it and start using it, even if you don't have the Sunu band. There's a ton of features like a built-in compass, place finder, you can search for businesses by categories. If you find something you like, just tap on directions and it will lead you right to it. So be sure to check out the app. Once again, free download and a huge thank you to Sunu for sponsoring this video. All right, so let's check out the next one. This is also a loop. So let's skip that one. Let's go to the pencil tip here.
Ah, here we go. So this is a single cord. There's a knot at the bottom that the hook is hooked around, not letting it go back down. So in this situation, I can't use a pencil or a pen or anything because there is no loop. So I'm going to use my clamp and I'm going to clamp it right here on the end of the cord. And I'm going to hold one end, hold the loose end here while I gently let go of the other side, making sure that the clamp is going to hold it and it will. We're good. Now this being one single cord that just has a knot at the end, uh, I have an option here. I can put the tip back on the way that it was and it seems secure enough but maybe you would like a little bit more security that the tip is going to stay on there and not allow the core to retract into the cane. So what you can do is tie a loop onto the end of this cord. So I'm going to pull it out here and I'm going to clamp the cord. So I've given myself a little bit of slack to work with. Now I have about 10 inches of the, the cord sticking out the end. The clamp is holding it in place so I can use both hands here. And I'm just going to tie a quick knot. This is just a, uh, what is it called? An overhand knot, I guess. Nothing fancy. And I'm going to attach the hook tip to that loop that I just made. Now I'm going to undo the clamp and I'm going to feed the end of the cord back into there along with the knot that I just made, guiding it in and guiding in the tip. And there we go. We have it all in place. I'm going to give it a little tug here to make sure that it's not too tight and the cane is still going to be able to uh, be folded up without any issues. And there we go. We have switched the tip on that one. What happens if you do accidentally let go of your cord and it retracts into the cane? Or say your cord breaks at the, the end here and you need to retrieve it. <clears throat> So we're just going to pull it out, and if it has gone all the way through this first section, that's fine. This one, because of that knot, cannot go all the way through the first section, so we're in luck here. If it has, you just want to simply feed it right into the base of the first section, uh, and then continue like this. So we want to pull out a generous amount of cord. So I'm really stretching it almost to the max, and I'm going to pinch it and use my clamp, whoops, slipped a little bit, let's go back out, use my clamp to clamp off that section. And I'm going to gently release it. Oh, I didn't clamp it all the way, so let's try it again. Okay, I think we got it that time, yes. So we've got it clamped off and we have a section here. So I just need to feed this back through this final section of this last section of cane. And if it's a little tight of a snug fit, what you can do is twist the cane as you gently push up on the cord. That helps kind of loosen everything up and, and free it so it moves smoothly inside the metal tube. And you just want to very slowly work it up, small sections at a time, all the way up until you see the cord or you feel the cord come out the other end of the cane. So I'm going to continue pushing up, pushing the cord up through the metal tube and there it is, it's poking out at the back, the end. <clears throat> so now I can put my pencil in so that I know this will not fall back through. And I'm going to very gently release the clamp and guide that section of cane back into place. Now I can put my tip on. And there we go. We have fixed that cane and we can check, make sure we've got enough slack so that if we need to fold it up, we're not gonna have any issues. And there we go. We've switched all of our tips and we're good to go. 
Okay, well there you go guys. I hope you found that information helpful. If you did, be sure to give the video a big like, big thumbs up. Helps out the channel. Also, if you aren't already, go ahead and make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.